This is uh, Tech Math 2. And we're in section 5-5 today, section 5.5. And it has to do with multiplication and division. I have my calculator out, but I really think it won't do me any good. So if I have A over B times C over D, I multiply once on top and call it AC, and I multiply on the bottom, B, B, and that's my answer. So if I got 1 quarter times 3 halves, 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times uh, 4 is 8. Alright, and uh, some more theory. If I have uh, A, B, A over B, divided by C over D. Then I'm going to invert and multiply. So I invert the second guy and multiply A over B times D over C. And I end up with uh, A, D over B, C. And normally I keep it in alphabetical order and that, then I call that spelling correct. Alright, so we'll look at problem number one. Um, there's no technical reason we couldn't just put this in our calculator. 9 over 6 times 4 over 3. And I see that uh, 4 goes into the 16 4 times, and 3 goes into the 9 3 times, and 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 1 is 4. I got 3 over 4. And if I take my calculator and put in... Um, 9 divided by 16 times uh, 4, that wasn't a 4, I hit a 7, 4 divided by 3 equals, and I get um, 0.75 in my calculator, I can go second function, change it to a fraction, and uh, that becomes 3 over 4, which we uh, probably all knew that before I even did it, but... Um, so a problem like that, we'd expect you to just pull your calculator out and not worry too much about it. Uh, we'll go down to 4. Problem number 4, I have uh, 5 over 9 divided by 5 divided by over 18. Again, I, I would just put this in my calculator. I wouldn't... Uh, do anything other than that. So um, I, I want to put parentheses around this guy when I put it in my calculator so that uh, it doesn't do a, uh, it wouldn't, it would do it wrong if I didn't put those parentheses in. Anyway, I've got uh, 5 over 9 times, I inverted multiply 18 over 5. Uh, my 5's can go away, 9 can go into there twice, and I end up with a 2. So, if I go 5 divided by 9, divided by, open parentheses, 5 divided by 18, close parentheses, I get the same 2 that I got before. But if I didn't put in the parentheses, I put 5 divided by 9, divided by 5, divided by 18, without the uh, parentheses, I end up with a, a 0 0.0061728, which would be wrong. So I'd have, if I was going to do that, I'd have to put it in my calculator, because without the parentheses, I divide by 5, and then I divide by 18. <coughs> and that's a, an order of operation issue there. So to get the order of operations correct, I need the parentheses. Okay, um, we'll move down to 7. 6a to the 4th divided by a squared divided by 18 a squared divided by 8 to the 5th. Okay, so I'm going to have to invert and multiply 6a to the 4th divided by a squared times a to the 5th 18 a squared.
Well, um, 6 goes into 18 three times. I have a squared and a squared. Is that what I mean? Really? Yeah, I have a squared and a squared on the bottom. And an a to the fourth sitting there. So I'm going to end up with um, a to the fifth over 3. Alright, um, number 10. Am I going fast enough? Right. Don't want to be too boring. Number 10. <laughs> totally impossible. I have to be too boring. Alright, so I've got um, 15 P Q squared. 13 M to the fifth N cubed, you got to be kidding me, times 39 m n to the fourth, uh, 5 p to the fourth q cubed. When we get down, we only want positive exponents, so 5 goes into the 15 three times, 13 goes into the 39 three times. Um, I got a p there, making me have a cubed here. I got uh, q squared, making this guy a 1. I got uh, three n's, making that a 1. And I got an m there, making this guy a 4. All right, now that I've done all that, what I got? I've got 9 n divided by m to the fourth p cubed q. And I look and I say, well, I'm in alphabetical order. I must be right. Okay, questions about that? We'll do uh, 13 next. Two a squared b cubed the whole thing squared four a b squared cubed eight a squared b the whole thing squared twelve a cubed b now assuming that I wrote it down right. I should get the same answer that the author would want us to get. If I, in fact, wrote it down wrong, then um, there's nothing I can do for myself, right? So I square the 2, I get a 4. I get an a to the 4th, a b to the 6th. On the bottom, 3 cubed, 64. 64 a cubed b to the 6th. times 64 a to the fourth b squared 12 a cubed b. All right, well, the 64 can go away. The 4 can go into the 12 three times. I have uh, six a's, so I only need two. And I've got uh, B's there, and they'll go away, and that B gets rid of one of that B's. And all I have left over is A squared B on the top, and 3 on the bottom. Is that all I have on the bottom? Is it 3? Yeah, it would appear that way. I won't try to do it on my calculator. It might work, might not. Uh, number 15. Okay, we're going to write the problem different than the book has. So we have 2, we have 4. 4x plus 2 over 8xy times 
16x over 32x plus 2. All right. That goes away. That goes away. 8 goes into there twice. 2 times 4 is 8. And 8 goes into 32 four times. Yeah. 8 goes into 42. 32 four times. And we got an X there, we got an X there. All right, well, that doesn't leave us too much. Um, leaves us nothing. 1 divided by 4Y. Yeah, that's about all that left us. 1 divided by 4Y. Okay, we're going to move down to 19. Uh, y plus 2 squared divided by y. y squared divided by y plus 2 y minus 2. So I'm going to factor uh, that y squared minus 4 before I even get started. All right, well, I got uh, 1 up there, 1 down there. I got 1 up here, 1 down there. And the only thing I've got left is a y, y plus 2, divided by y minus 2. All right. Now, now we get to divide. All right, we'll go to number 22. And... Uh, x squared minus 9 divided by 3 minus s over 3s. All right, so I'm going to invert and multiply, and I'm going to say I've got x plus 3 x, but it's not x, is it? It's s. s plus 3, s minus 3, times minus 3s divided by s minus 3. So I'm going to put a minus sign in the numerator so that I can turn the denominator around. All right, so he goes away, he goes away, and that's all there is. There ain't no more. So I've got um, minus... 3s s plus 3. And we'll do 25. Uh, s minus 2 x minus y. times. Okay, we'll factor the top guy, x plus y, x minus y, and then we'll factor the bottom guy, x minus 2 squared. All right, well, uh, he goes away, that guy goes away, this guy goes away, one of those guys goes away. And we end up with uh, x plus y over x minus 2. Okay, fine with that. I'm going to do uh, 28 next. Okay, I'll write it uh, x plus y, x minus y, divided by z, 
plus y, z minus y. times x times y minus z. That's inconvenient. And then I've got y minus x. OK, so I want this guy turned around to be z, z minus y. And I want this guy turned around to be x minus y. And that'd be a minus 1 on the top, a minus 1 on the bottom. They're going to cancel each other out. So we're just going to go boom, 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 and say my final answer is x, x plus y, divided by z. Well, we won't write it z plus y. We write it y plus z. y plus z, because we want it to be in alphabetical order. Okay, moving on to uh, number 30. Okay, well, I think I can factor the top guy. Um, T minus 5 squared divided by um, T plus 5 t minus 5. And then we're going to multiply. So I'm going to invert and multiply t plus 5 on top. And on the bottom, I've got a t plus 5 squared. All right, well, um, well he goes away. He goes away. One of those guys go away. Looks like I'm going to end up with a t minus 5. Am I skipping enough steps for you? t plus 5 squared. If you, if you want me to go back and put in extra steps, I can do that. So if I um, push the envelope too far, just tell me about it. Okay, so that was 30. I'm going to do 33 next. Now, I'm not so sure I've got enough room to write down the whole problem. Okay, we're going to factor the top guy. 3x plus 2. 3x minus 2. Okay, the guy on the bottom, well, I don't know about him. Um, okay, we're going to invert and multiply. I got um, 6x minus 6 um, x that won't work All right, well, I'll worry about it later. Um, I've got um, got six x squared minus thirteen x plus six divided by nine uh, x squared minus twelve x plus four. And now we'll worry about this guy over here. Can I factor him? Um, let's see. 3 times 3 is 9. And 2 times 2 is 4. OK, so this is going to be 3x, 3x, mm, it'll be 3x, 2x, 2x. And um, I'm going to go plus 2 minus 3. All right, so now I've got, I've got uh, minus 6. I've got a plus 6. 
I've got a minus 9 plus 4 to give me a 5. Okay, so I got one side factored, the other side I don't. All right, well, that's fine. We'll get rid of this guy, we'll get rid of that guy, and then we'll worry about factoring the other side of the equation. Okay, so I've got 3x minus 2, 2x minus 3. All right, now, um, hmm. this is probably a 3x, 2x, 3x, 2x. If I put a 2 here, okay, 2, 3, both with minus signs, then I, I've got, I got plus 6, I got plus 6, I got minus 4, minus 9 for the minus 13. All right, so I got that guy right. And um, then we got this guy on the bottom. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go 3x, 3x. If I go minus 2, minus 2. Then I'm going to get plus 4, I'm going to have 9x squared, I'm going to have minus 6, minus another 6 for the minus 12. Okay, so that worked. All right, well, I've got one guy here, and i got one guy there, i got one guy here, i got one guy there. And now I come down to a reasonable answer. Three, oh, wait a minute, they go away too, don't they? Boom, boom. All right, so my answer is 1. So when I get done, I have nothing left. Well, that was special. That's special or what? Oh, well, it looks like we should do 36 next. All right, well, I don't see how that guy factors right off hand. So 18. M squared, 27M N, 10N squared. Right, so I see how the bottom guy factors right away. Um, maybe I do. Do I? What's 12 times 2? What's 15? 15 plus 4, right? Okay, so this guy's um, 3m plus 2n. And he's going to be uh, 2m plus 5n. Okay, so I got 10. M, I got 10n squared, I got 6m squared, I got 15 plus 4 is 19. Okay, so I factored him right. I'm going to go times, okay, the guy in the bottom go on the top, and I don't see him right away, m squared 34mn. 15 m n squared and then the other guy I don't see him right away 12 m squared minus 8 m n 15 n squared okay so that's what I got except I had the things that have to be factored. I'm, I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to go to um, polynomial solver and I'm going to go to um, second degree polynomial. I'm going to put in an 18 and a 27 and a 10 and tell it to solve. And so um, I'm going to have um, M 
minus 2 over 3n. And it's going to be plus. Plus 2 over 3n. Okay, and then the second guy is uh, m. m plus 5 over 6 n. Right. 3 m 2 n 2 n 5 n all right, now, this guy here, if I put a minus 2 over 3 there, this guy goes away. But if I put the 3 here, and I get rid of that guy there, and I put a minus 2 over 3 here, it also works, right? So I can put a 6 here and get rid of that 6 there. And that's sneaky, and that's devious, and that is um, what I'm going to do. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. And I'm going to say polynomial solver and I'm going to put in a 16 and a 34 and a minus 15. I'm going to write down that this is going to be 8m minus 3n times 2m plus 5n. All right, so I got minus 15m squared. I got 16m squared. I got 8 times 2 is 16. 16 minus 15 doesn't make 34 though. How come? Why don't I have 34? Huh, bummer. Did I write the problem wrong, right? Unfortunately. All right, so what am I doing wrong? There's 16. Oh, it's 40. There's 40 minus 6 is 34. So I'm correct. Okay, I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to put a polynomial solver on my computer, my calculator, and I'm going to put in a 12, and I'm going to put in a minus 8, and I'm going to put a minus 15, and I'm going to write that this guy is going to be 6m plus 5n, and the second solution is... 2m minus 3n. So I didn't, didn't necessarily have to factor that directly, but yeah, that's what I ended up doing anyway. Okay, so um, what do we have that are common? Um, here's a 2, 5, so he goes away. There's a 5, 6, he goes away. And, um, and those two guys can go away. And whatever is left over is left over, right? All right, so 8m minus 3n divided by 2m minus 3n. Find my answer. Okay, now, did you see what I was doing on my calculator? Was that at all evident? Okay, so we'll go back. And we'll look at that again. So I want to 
I have something that's um, 16 m squared plus 34 m n minus 15 n squared. Okay, so I have something that looks like that, which I know I can't put in my calculator, right? But if I were to solve 16 x squared plus 34x minus 15, I would end up um, with a solution that will be the same solution as this guy, only I, I'm going to have to have an extra n thrown in, in in certain places. So if I take my calculator and I put it to... Um, polynomial solver, which is second function, the cosine key. And I hit the one button, which is the second order guy. And um, I say 16. And uh, my B is 34. And I got minus 15 for my C. And I tell it to solve it. I see that I have a, an X1 that is 3 over 8. And I, and I look for x2, and I see that I have an x2 that is minus 5 over 2. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that um, So if it's like, say you're subtracting them Hmm? So when you're subtracting, like a negative 15, you subtract a negative 15. Yeah, I put a negative 15 right in my calculator, right? Not the subtract sign, but the negative sign, which is a, a by the answer key. Yep. Yeah. So that's what I put in. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, this means that um, when I factor this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to factor this somehow, and when x is 3 over 8, I end up getting a zero. All right, so if x were 3 over 8, this would have to be minus 3 over 8 to get a zero. Okay, so that's what that would mean. So that means that x minus 3 over 8 would, would have to give me the zero. And that means that 8x minus 3 would have to give me a 0. Now I apply that to this problem where I have m's and n's, and I say, well, this guy's going to be 8m minus 3n. So that's, the, that's my factoring that I do. I come over here and I say, well, when minus 5 over 2 plus something is equal to 0, well, that something has to be 5 over 2. So that's going to be in the form of x plus 5 over 2 is equal to 0. So I've got 2x plus 5 has to be 0. That's my factor of my, of my x squared guy. And then I apply it to the, what I've got here. That's going to be 2m minus 5 plus 5 plus 5n is going to be the factor on the other side. So that's how I go from having the root to getting the factor. Okay. Now I do have long sleeves on it. That did look sort of like magic. And uh, But you have a calculator that does it, so you, you could do it that way. Uh, you could also come back and say, all right, um, I'm going to factor this, and, and the 16 factors 1 times 16. 2 times 8, um, 4 times 4, and uh, minus 15, minus 1 times 15, 3 minus 3 times 5, uh, 5 minus 5 times 3, and so on. And then pick the right set that will add to 35, and the right set would be... Um, 8 times a positive 5 minus 6, 3 times 2. So I, I could have factored it without using my calculator. 
and Ken came up with the same answer too. And I would often do that. Okay, good enough for that one. But I, I find it uh, interesting that my calculator can factor those things for me if I let it. Okay, well, it looks like we should go down to 47. And uh, so number 47. All right, let's see. I don't see the factoring of the top guy right away, so I've got 18 x squared 9x minus 20. And the bottom guy, I think I see his factoring, don't I? Um, 12 minus Three, twelve. Twelve minus eight. Well, I don't see that one either. Six x squared minus five uh, x minus four. I don't see him right away. I've got to invert and multiply. So I see a three x plus 4, a 3x minus 4, I see a um, 2x plus 1 squared, okay, and then on the bottom, and I don't see how to factor that right away. 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. And this guy, I see a, um, hmm, a 2x, 2x times 6x minus 5. Okay, so now we, we have to work on factoring those two guys and factoring this guy. So I got three guys I still have to factor. Bummer. Um, okay, so we'll do the same thing again. Go to a polynomial solver and we'll put in a uh, 18 and a 9 and a minus 20 tell it to solve. Oh, bummer. Eighteen. I put it on 94 instead of a 9. And a minus 20 solve. Okay, so this is going to factor um, 6x minus 5 times 3x plus 4. Okay, I got minus 20, I've got a 16, I got an 18, I got a 20, I got an 18 minus 9 is 9. Okay, that's good. And then this guy, how is he gonna factor? Alright, we're gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing again because I'm so happy that my calculator does this for me. I got a 6, and I hit the clear button, a minus 5, and then a minus 4, and I hit the clear button to get the rest of it out of there. And so that's going to factor 2x plus 1, 3x minus 4. Okay, so there's the minus 4, there's the 6x squared, and there is um, 8 minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. Okay, so that works. And then i got to factor this guy. So I'll do it again. I'll go polynomial solver. i got a 2. got a minus 9. 
a minus 5, and it's going to factor 2x plus 1. Um, x minus 5. All right, so then there's the minus 5, there's the minus 10, there's the minus 9. Okay, so everything's fine. All right, so now everything's factored. I'm ready to go. And um, so there's one of those guys and one of those guys. And there's one, two of them. And there's two of them there. And there's one of these guys and one of those guys. And it looks like I'm done. Does it look like I'm done? Okay, so I've got three x plus four, the quantity squared nothing else on the top. On the bottom I've got a 2x x minus 5. And what was that? That was 27? That was 27, right? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Now, it would appear to me like the uh, the odd ones are in the back of the book, or most of them are in the back of the book. So we'll look at five, 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 five. Number forty-seven. Oh my goodness, that's exactly what the back of the book has. How did the graduate student get that answer without my help? I find that extremely hard to believe. So this uh, checks with back of book. Okay, questions? What? A little bit? But this is the first time I factored polynomials by using my calculator. All right, with that, that ends what we're doing, so we'll...